Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. As a special gift to every viewer on YouTube, there is a link in the description to apply for a free breakthrough trading strategy session with myself. What does that mean? Alex created a free trading course for beginners, and at the end of it, we will be selecting a few non-members to get on the phone with myself, Tosh, T Bradley 90 to help with your trading. Click the link in the bio, watch the video, and apply today. Now, while today is just a preview of the full-length video, if you want to watch the full-length or any of our exclusive content, then become a member of MIC. Hey, everybody. Austin here. Uh, going to do another trade recap today, this time on LCI. But before I do, I want to say that I'm not licensed, I'm not registered, I'm not a financial advisor, and none of this should be taken as investment advice, even if it sounds like it. Okay. So, uh, today, I hope you guys can see the, the daily chart over here on LCI and know exactly what I was looking for coming into today right this is very classic of a this is very classic of a first red day uh, scenario right we have a you know multiple green days in a row up 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 and then this final last day is almost parabolic meaning uh, the range is you know I don't have a rule but like I just want to see greater range on um, you know, a day with significantly more range than the previous day, and then the next day I start to think that we can have our first red day, right? And now that I'm looking at the chart, um, I'm looking at this chart in uh, in retrospect, it's very clear that like I could have done, I, if I would have followed the plan verbatim for my first, or not mine, but for the first red day strategy that I like to trade, um, and the way I like to trade it, uh, it you know textbook um, criteria says you know short on this pop right because for those um, who don't know I'll go over the first red day strategy um, the thing I like to look for on a first red day strategy one like I just mentioned multiple days up and then the final green day I like it to be an expansion of the range see how we kind of went parabolic here it's kind of telling I was like maybe this is it right so at this point in time I'm like I can still trade this this is the first red day we just we tried to get up to prior close and we slammed down. Maybe we can get back down to, you know, my, my original goal is 1150s. That's what I have in my mind before the trade starts. And so I say, let me, let's, let's try to ease in. And so I get in here, um, just, I got about like half size, just feeling it out. And um, it, I get a nice tank right away. And, and no joke, my cover was at like 17 down here. And like, so I missed it by a significant margin. It's not enough for me to get mad about, but you know, I didn't get the cover that I wanted right away and it popped right back. And going into this trade, it's important to note that this is LCI, right? This is a, a known headache for shorts. Just, just a, a known headache to trade in general, but just especially on the short side, this stock has been a pain in the butt for a lot of traders. And you can clearly see why on the day, on the daily, this is just, been so unforgiving we even had these bottom wick days right these bottom wick days which are kind of showing that you know like it's dipping but recovering right so that's a major headache for shorts so I was really waiting for some kind of extension of parabolic before I even tried which is what we got yesterday and so you know like I I, I like the tank and I'm like okay this is a lower low I should be shorting for a lower high and so, but I, because it's LCI, I'm being a little bit safe. I'm not trying to get in on the, I'm expecting games to be played with this stock because games have been played with this stock. This doesn't want to give it up. There seems to always be support for this stock. So I wasn't trying to get in here on the top because who knows, it could have just went like blown right through 75 and 80 and I, I wanted to be only in half size if that happened, right? The fact that we just stuffed here and tanked and we're just not tanking, you know, I, 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 I imagine this might pop, you know, annoyingly because this sock has been doing that. But then I expected it to kind of roll back over. And we kind of just held for a very long time on this 1250 level. And it got to the point to where I basically I was time stopping out of this. Like, I'm like, if this ever gets back above 60, I'm totally like going to cut this. I can cut this trade. It's not doing what I want. Um, and I can, you know, if it decides to stuff, I can always get back in and that's my mentality right I want to take the small cut so that way I can get back in later if it decides to set up again or maybe it needed one more shakeout who knows right but I'm expecting this stock to be really annoying because um, it's been very it's been very bullish you can see the wicks on the daily charges 
constantly recovering it. So I'm like, that could happen today, and I'm, I'm giving that a reasonable possibility. So, you know, just overall, this isn't even that much of a sized-in um, uh, first red day to begin with. Hey, traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.